We've come here since week one, and it gets better every week. Yes. Every week gets better. Every time we think this is it, this is the best thing to do, it gets better. It's really it as much about the, the stories, not just the music, it's as much about what they say in between that makes it so much fun. We came last week with some girlfriends, and then we brought more people back this time. It's just it's a lot of fun. It's awesome. It's They're great, great for all people. I mean, I'm here with my parents, so it's great for all crowds. It's a lot of fun, definitely. Yeah, and it's earlier, so I mean, if you have to be up early, like we both have <laughs> school and classes, things yeah. to do tomorrow, so you get to come and like start out at seven. You get to have dinner, glass of wine. Really good food here, yeah. Yeah, amazing food, and the company's wonderful. You just can't. It doesn't get any better. You, you gotta come out here every Wednesday because that, it's a guaranteed hit show out here every Wednesday, and you will have the time of your life. The people here in the borough, they're not used to getting the songwriters part and the aspect of, of you know how the song comes to life. How the song came about was from a little two-year-old and a phone conversation that I had. I remember being on the West Coast and hanging up the phone and crying and um, just thought physically I wasn't wasn't home, but mentally I really never left. And um, you know, it's uh, it's amazing to to see what you just sang about the, the military and this song kind of kind of uh, took on a whole new meaning with the men and women in the military and the way that they spend time away from, from their families. So I uh, send this out to the little Troy girl with armpit hair and, and all the men and women in the military. <laughs> Very special, and um, it's. I mean, it's. I mean, you put on a great show. I mean, it's. it's I mean, from. I mean, from the. You know, just the. Just the setting, the food, the music, um, everything about it was wonderful. Good. Well, I'm really glad that you feel that way because um, we. That's exactly why we started this was because we wanted it to be intimate for people. We wanted people to be able to get the stories behind the songs and for them to get up close. We want to see the reaction on their faces. We want to see what these songs mean to them. And, that's just the best feeling, connecting with people, and in a small venue like this, you really can, and uh, this is a really unique thing for Murfreesboro, and I'm glad that y'all are doing it. This is a real, you know, a real fine. You may take her and make her your own, you'll always be riding with private loans. This is real nice, just to be out of the Nashville setting, and, and to, it's a, l a lot more relaxed, and... Mm -hmm. And we have a little more time and, and more to, get to play more songs mm -hmm. and, and get to visit yeah. with you and Jack a lot. So yeah, we enjoy that very much. We were talking earlier how, you know, during the week it's so stressful and, you know, we're wound up so tight and we just look forward to Wednesday nights and listen to some good music and just unwinding a little bit, you know, and it's been really good. And it's good to bring a little bit of class and style into the borough and have have a little bit of variety with the artists. There are a lot of different flavors, excellent food, excellent service, and then the musicians are phenomenal. we here every week. Every uh, single we week. We enjoy coming here. It's a very intimate setting. We like hearing the story behind the story. Okay. Well, we will be back. Every we'll other back. time. Mike knows. I just have to call and say it's Terry. He goes, I've got your table all set. <laughs>